Hello friends, I'm Colonel Fader and you're back once again with Super Mega Baseball and uh, Bulldozer Power are about to take on the 11-4 and 4 Nomads who are quite the team to observe. We are pulling the season back a little bit. Uh, we're, we're still trailing uh, Cheerio Inc. by four and a half games. But I've got every confidence uh, that we can overcome uh, a bunch of jokers like the Nomads. But I don't see why we wouldn't. We've got the team. We've got the momentum. Let's make it happen. So uh, we're taking Trace Attitude out and bringing in Steve Mori in her place because uh, Steve's back fit again, and that's uh, that's good to see. Uh, Margot is not quite uh, ready to go, which means the Professor will be taking the field and leading us undoubtedly towards a whole lot of victory. It'll, it'll be the Professor. The, the Professor is what it'll be. Yeah, definitely choosing the Professor. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that's who we're going to choose. Well, it's a lovely sunny day and we're on the road. And it's always a lovely sunny day, but I'm going to say it every time anyway, because right, frankly, that's what the, the sort of thing that I, that I do here. Uh, right, okay, Cindy Vapid will be first up to bat. Uh, there was the temptation to remove her after last week's uh, very poor showing from City, or rather erratic showing, I think is the, the best way to describe it. But we've decided to keep the faith, and uh, and as a result of keeping the faith, she's going to show just a little bit more patience, and uh, she's been in temperament classes all week to ensure that she doesn't do the same as she did last time. Wallop! Well, okay, forces an error there. Can she make it a first? No. Good, that, that really justifies all of my faith in Cindy right there. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, here's Bingo Hazmat, uh, one of the bright stars of the team that is full of bright stars. The team is a bright star overload at the uh, at the worst of times. And Bingo is never the worst of times. He is always our uh, our big dog, large hitter. Anyway, he's, uh, he's not hitting anything at the moment because this pitch is all over the place and uh, Bingo gets a walk. All right, good times. Well done, Bingo. Good effort. Yeah, I mean, it all counts, so you get on base, I'll take it. Uh, here's Bam Bam Puckai, big, big fan favourite Bam Bam Puckai. And uh, she's going to be hoping to uh, to put on a display uh, for the uh, the fans who have bought so much of her merchandise over the years. Uh, the type of merchandise, of course, best not talking about. Uh, but uh, she's uh, she's riding this one out. Uh, four balls thrown at her so far. No, 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 yeah, Bam Bam's going for a stroll as well. Well, that's good. Uh, here's uh, Shamrock Bubblejet, who is the leading hitter on our team, uh, batting 600 this season. And, uh, you know, with uh, with bases one and two being occupied at present, big opportunity here to get the entire side out. Well done, Shamrock. Good job. Brilliant. That's it. No, I think I'm probably done with bigging up my batters. They, uh, they, just, they just lead to disappointment overall. Anyway, that will bring up Jack Onion, uh, as the uh, as the opening swinger uh, for the Nomads. Uh, he's batting 250 uh, so far in the year. Here's the Feetum, and he's uh, he's sizing it up, thinking about his next move. Uh, he's uh, he's going to throw the ball. Here it comes. It's up in the air. Well, the Professor, uh, much like his, uh, his closing-out teammate, uh, Jeff, the Conservative Conservative, uh, are well-known for uh, for not wasting their pitches and there we go his opening pitch of the game is an out excellent work and here we go wallop well that one's not an out that one's gone to veronica in center field so that will get uh, whoever that was dill herfer i think it was uh, get them on base here's vera contagion who uh, only batting 200 this season with uh, eight runs batted in uh, has no place on any team i've got a steal attempt going on there That's that one's gone foul though, so we won't bother dealing with that any further. Strike one. Uh, not the greatest of pitches in the world, but once again, uh, the professor there calling for it, and wallop, out number two. Excellent. How these outs come about is unimportant. That we get them is important. Here's uh, Jesse Flail, who is uh, one of the star players of the team. And uh, as evidenced by the big old throw there, throw to second. Oh, yeah, no. Stolen second base. Well, the Nomads do have a reputation for being a bit swift on their feet, and uh, stealing bases is one of the things that gives them that reputation for being swift on their feet. I don't know. You want more detail than that? Can't have it. 
Jesse Flower there popping it out to uh, right field where failure is underneath it and adds out number three and the side is retired. So uh, all square at the end of the first inning and uh, Veronica Hammock will be next up to bat. She's got something to prove. Uh, but then she always has something to prove. She shouldn't have anything to prove, of course. She's actually a pretty good... Uh, what are you doing? Why are we swinging at that? Don't swing at that. Uh, oh, oh, this one. Oh, and, uh, well, there you go. Veronica's out. Uh, whether she has something to prove or not, she's not going to get the chance today. Uh, here is Ulysses failure. Strike one. No, I've got no commentary for you there. We're just going to wait and see what happens. Oh! Uh, a classic failure move there. He uh, slaps that one uh, up centre and uh, gets himself on base for his trouble there. Uh, here's Steve Morrie returning from a little convalescing period there in the dugout. And uh, we've got, we got to wait to see whether Big Steve has got any big plays up his big sleeves. Now he's, uh, he's wafted that one out over the foul line. Strike two. That's ball one. Steve holding his nerve. And that's good enough. Steve there will advance to first base. Uh, failure moving up to second, and uh, that's a hit. That's what they call those, a hit. Good. Now, if you, if you get out following a hit, that's not a hit anymore. No, it's something else. Uh, Tintin Hollywood now. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's feeling good. Uh, Looking-wise, he's swung for the fence, but he's uh, got caught over the foul line possibly could have uh, have used that as a sacrificial play to advance the, the batting folk there, but we didn't. So, uh, you know, I'd, uh, I make the comments, so you don't have to. Here's the professor. And, uh, for a pitcher, he's, he's not half bad at bat, uh, but uh, there's no pressure on him to do very well here. We've got two outs this inning already. Well, he's, he's gone for the fence there. He's not going to get there. He went for the fence, though, and, and that's the side of tide. Good. Right. Okay. Well, you know, that's three inning pass so far. Innings, plural. There's more than one. Uh, and with no score. Here's Kale Deakness. And he is the Deakness, isn't he? Uh, he's just Deak in there with his, with his big tash and whatever it is he's masticating on at the moment. Uh, no, that one's in the crowd. Strike two. Feet in there. F uh, focused and poised. And uh, that one's another foul. Not that focused then. Go on. Put this one, uh, put this one solid. That's uh, a ball. Okay. Beaten now. He's uh, calling for it. And that one's up in the air. No, Steve has a look for it, but it's, it, that's gone foul as well. At some point, Featham will throw something useful here. There you go. And that's a strikeout. Yes, break your kneecap on the bats here if I care. Uh, here's Lee Hu, uh, who was uh, transferred from uh, Bulldozer Power at the end of last season and had a face transplant at the same time. Uh, we, got, we got rid of him because uh, he was rubbish. No, uh, gags notwithstanding. Uh, Lee Ho. Lee who? Lee what? Oh, I don't know. Uh, he was a lot of our rubbish, so uh, so we got shot of him. Anyway, he's batting now. Oh, there you go. He's, he's, he's just struck out. Yeah, in your face, Lee. Here's Lynn Mephisto, who, batting 500, is a force to be reckoned with. Is she? Yep, that one's, that one's gone up centre field. Look, she's got on base. That's, that's a, a clear signifier of a force to be reckoned with. Or at least a, a force not to be taken lightly. That brings up Jordan Booth. Who, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't make fun of his name. His facial hair is relatively sensible. He's got nothing particularly unusual about his stance. Maybe he'll do something that will mean I can make jokes later on. But uh, that's it. What's this bunting? No, 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 no. There you go. That's out number three. Side of tide. You don't bunt when you've got two outs. Cry out loud. I don't know what kind of strategy that was other than rubbish. Rubbish strategy. Anyway, end of the second innings and uh, it's all square. Round to the top of the order again. Here's Cindy Vapid. And she'll be hoping to, uh, well, do better than replicating what she did the first time round. There's ball one. Not swung at that one, though. That's a, that makes a change. Uh, there's ball two. Cindy Vapid. Not had to do much so far today. Uh, ball three. Yeah, and Cindy gets a walk. Okay, fine. Right, okay. Right. That's, yeah, that's, that's all progress. Here's uh, Bingo Hatchman. He got a walk first time round as well. Uh, yeah, we, we, we maintain walking as a, as part of a healthy lifestyle here at Bulldozer Power. And uh, maybe you, the fans, could join Bingo Hazmat on his next walking tour of the uh, McDonald's car park uh, near you, wherever that is. 
Oh, no, he's going again. Look. He's uh, Walk, bingo. Rub it in, mate. Rub it in. Now Just go. Nah, no, mate. I'm sassing it. Well, that's four walks so far today. And here's Bam Bam, who also got to stroll it on the first inning. Uh, that's, apparently, that's a strike. I don't believe that. Uh, ball one. Evidently, since they've been throwing so many uh, the balls so far. Uh, Bam Bam, what are you doing? Giving up a double play, Chief. Except I made it on base. All right, it's only a single play. All right, lost the uh, run to second, but we do now have someone on third. And that someone is one of our players. Anyway, here's Shamrock Team Destruction Bubble Jet. Uh, ball one, strike one is the count. And it's now ball two, strike one. That's the new count. Uh, supplemental count update, ball three. Uh, okay, Shamrock gets a walk as well. Bases are now loaded, leaving it up to Veronica Hammock to uh, to wreak destruction on the other team. Well, she gets out, but she gets a run for her trouble as well, so that's a sacrifice run there. Yeah, deliberately sacrificed. That was all intentional, uh, but that opens the scoring in this game. Ball does a power. Now one run. And failure puts one into a tricky place to defend, which is going to get us another couple of runs as failure gets a double. BDP are now up three to zip. Yes, a BDP. Get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, we all on board. Yeah. I mean, you could say that that was Boogie Down Productions, but it's not. Uh, no. I mean, you know, if KRS One ever wants to make a guest appearance, I'm up for it. In fact, isn't KRS One dead? No, no, he's not. No, it's his DJ that died. Is it? Are you sure? Uh, is KRS-One alive? That's what we want to be looking at. Oh, in case you haven't picked up on it, I deleted my commentary again, so I'm uh, watching this retrospectively and uh, commenting along the way. But I need to know now whether KRS-One is still alive. KRS-One uh, alive? Question mark? Uh, is KRS-One still alive? Um, yes. Okay, then. Right. Okay, well, I, died. I thought a member of BDP had died, but never mind. Uh, that was an out there. I, there, was, there was probably some commentary to go along with that, but instead you got a little bit of hip-hop news update. Um, <clears throat> moving on. Uh, someone made it to first base. Uh, exciting times. And, uh, and that's another hit there. So, uh, as uh, Pickles Dilherfer comes up to, uh, up to bat, we've got a runner on first. One out at the top of the, th uh, the bottom of the third inning. Uh, there's a hapless dive there uh, from uh, Bam Bam. She does that. That's one of her things that she does. Signs a lot of merchandise. Dives all over the floor. Uh, that brings up Vera Contagion, who's, uh, who's deadly. The deadly contagion that is Vera. Uh, the professor can't be bothered with it. She gets... Well, she gets the whole side out. Sucks to be her, I guess. Anyway, at the end of the third, that's three runs to BDP and nothing to the Nomads and uh, Tintin Hollywood will be hoping to uh, to stretch that lead further he's not going to stretch it off that though that was a ball or that one still that's another ball that's ball three uh, Tintin so far just looking perplexed uh, as to why he doesn't need to get involved that was in the audience and uh, that's strike one. That one's too low. And Tintin gets a walk. Well, it's a walky walk, walk, walk kind of a day. And here comes the professor. If he if he gets to walk, that would be lovely. Uh, but uh, no, they're, they're sticking with this uh, picture. Mr. Chirp Scott. Don't know how loud he'll be chirping after this kind of performance, but uh, that's his name, apparently. Uh, strike one, ball one. Professor. Just biting his time. Strike two. I don't believe that. Uh, looking at it back again, I kind of go, no, that was outside, clearly. Oh, well, uh, Feetum strikes out there, but he soaks up a few pitches in the process, and we allow that kind of behaviour, uh, because a tired pitcher on the opposition is the best kind of pitcher you can have. Uh, that will bring Cindy up again. Only one out so far. And uh, that's going to change, though. Yeah. Nope, Cindy gets herself out running at first, but we have still got a runner on second, and that'll bring up Bingo, two walks, hazmat. For when one walk isn't enough, Bingo goes for another walk. I'm going for a walk, says Bingo. Okay, we'd sooner you, you know, slapped out the stadium or something. That's, you know, that's that's worth doing, surely. I believe they call it a park. 
Well, whatever they call it, do something. Strike one. That's uh, three balls again for Bingo Hasman. Well, there you go. Uh, Bingo's gone for another walk. And uh, that's it. Uh, it's like three walks. Three three walks of Bingo Hazmat today so far. And I, I don't know what to tell you. The whole thing's a disaster. Uh, here's Bam Bam again. The shortstop. It's not that short. Uh, right, here we go. Uh, ball two. You've got to be thinking pitcher substitution anytime soon. And Bam Bam slaps that one up the centre field, loading up the bases. Now, unfortunately, loading up the base, we have got two outs, which puts it all on the erratic shoulders of Shamrock. I'm number one, big dog, Bubble Jet. He swung late at that. That wasn't so hot. Come on, Shamrock. Wallop! No. No wallop. Shamrock there, wasting another opportunity. But, and uh, I think already we can, we can feel the crowd turning against him. Uh, you shouldn't know. I mean, you know, he's a nice guy. Uh, he's actually got a really good batting average. Anyway, here's uh, Jesse Fayer, Flail. Yeah. Who puts it in the garden. Uh, which is unfortunate. Mr. Miyagi had only just finished raking that one. Uh, and it's, you know, there were people out there con contemplating the universe and, and all of its many intrigues. Uh, but uh, no, no, there's a baseball just disrupted the uh, the cosmic flow of sand and gravel uh, that was there previously. So uh, there you go, the uh, the nomads there getting off the the zero score line, and uh, Feetum will uh, will be aiming to uh, to deal with that in short order as that one's flown out airmail to uh, Ulysses Fail who gets the catch one out. Here's Lee Hu. Well, with his previous at bat, he dropped to below 300 for the series. And uh, he'll be upset about that. Well, he's out again. Oh, what a shame. Here's Lynn Mephisto. Be careful. Lynn Mephisto is here. She can play. Watch her play. Watch Lynn Mephisto really hit the heck out of this one. No, no. Never be afraid of Lynn Mephisto. Be terrified. Because she's that good. Lynn Mephisto, everybody. Just bringing the pain on your team next time she plays them. Lynn Mephisto. Oh, flipping it. She has hit it. And that one's, that one's gone a long way. Veronica seems to have given up chasing it. Uh, gets a half catch off the fence. Doesn't really work. And Lynn Mephisto, who we should all be afraid of, gets a triple. All right. Okay. The, uh, the, the psychological there not, not paying off in the slightest. Uh, right, that brings up uh, Jordan Bland Booth here. And what's he going to do this time? Well, he struck at that one. That was, that was hilarious. I mean, the catcher had already caught it and he swung his bat. What a loony. Uh, that one's gone up a bit. Oh, and off the ground. Failure with an, uh, an unusual miss of the catch. I mean, admittedly, he needs to run a bit faster to get it, but uh, he missed it anyway. And uh, that allows whatever his name was, to get on the base. Uh, here's the pitcher, Chirp Scott. And they've not subbed him. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you sub him in a, in a two-out kind of situation? Well, we've stolen some base. That's yeah, uh, runner on second. There's still two outs. And uh, they're relying on the pitcher to be able to keep them in this. And that didn't pay off for them at all. Well, terrible coaching decision there from the Nomads, but they did get two runs in that inning. Uh, bringing them uh, only one short now. Lots of hits uh, for the Nomads, now but not a lot of, you know, three, results. Anyway, Chirp now facing Veronica Hammock. She wastes no time at all in getting out. Oh, good. Uh, his failure, he's two for two today. He's got a double, he's got a single, he's, uh, he's got a king size. Um, you know, he, he keeps them all in his linen drawer. Uh, and then he's also quite good at batting. And that one's off the fence. Very nice. Uh, failure could have made a run for second there, but didn't bother. He thought it was out. Mental note. Even if you think you're out, keep running if it's got the distance, man. There's, there's no harm to be had in, uh, in having to back it up again. Anyway, here's Steve Murray. He's, uh, he's done all right so far today, but, uh, you know, he's, he's still in, in stiff competition with Trace Attitude for the number one catcher position. And putting that one in the sand garden there is exactly the right way to do it. 
An extra two runs there, courtesy of Mr. Steve Murray, who should be treated with respect. Because uh, he's, he's, uh, he's done well. Good job. Well done. Excellent work. Fifth home run of the season there for Steve. Uh, is Tintin rounding out the real batters of the team. Uh, forces an error and then uh, a bit of pursuit from the shortstop. Uh, but that's enough to get Tintin on base. Everybody's everybody's pleased with that. Here comes the Professor again. Well, he's had two at bat so far. Struck out on one, got out on the other one. Uh, so let's see what he's got in his bag of tricks this time. No, ball two. Patience is what he has in his bag of tricks. Wallop! No. No, no. No. Well, okay. Well, a delay from the fielder there. Uh, that, that could have been a double play. Uh, but as it stands, Featham gets on base. And uh, and we've got a pitching change coming up as Chirp Scott goes to sit down and Diego Biggs uh, with his big hair. Uh, who goes to the same barber as Fuegas is, uh, is now out to uh, to show what he's made of. So far, he's made a rubbish. Oh, late swing from Cindy. Smash. No. Two strikes now for Cindy Vapid. She likes it. She's hit it. She's got herself out again. That could have been a double play, but they didn't hit it. So, you know, it's no matter. Uh, but with that inning, now uh, uh, the Bulldozer Power are leading 5-2. to two, And Jack Onion, the top of the order for the Nomads, is now up and looking like he means business but does he mean but he does mean business that one's got up to center field he'll get on base very good very good okay good right uh that brings up pickles dillhofer who has uh, two singles today in uh, in the campaign lots of people there jumping up and down behind the pitcher to try and put him off because that's sportsmanship yeah that's that's how this sport is played and that one's got for Bam Bam. No, she tries to dive again and doesn't get it. And that's runners now, first and second, no outs. And uh, and it's Vera Contagion who is utter garbage as a batter. I know it's fatal to say so, but I've got that much confidence in the fact that she's not going to do anything here that I will say she's completely useless. Uh, she's the shortstop. Hang on. She's hit that one up the centre field, which we know already is uh, quite challenging. They've gone for home. They've got a run out of it. I get, don't say anything nice about your own batters or bad against the opposition batters and you'll be fine. Jesse Flail, everybody. But he forces a bit of a fumbled catch there from the professor, but gets himself out for his trouble as the professor, professor, professor yeah, that's his name, uh, recovers. Uh, that's Kale Deakness now. Uh, looking at the things. Uh, he's, had a, he's had a go for it. I don't know. And uh, Shamrock couldn't be bothered picking that one up, which gives up another run. We'll be revisiting this come contract time, Shamrock. Just FYI. And that one's got a Tintin who throws to first. And... Oh, yes. Lovely. Let's recap that. Tintin there threw to second from first. And then they threw back two first from second got a double play very quick action there from bulldozer power which allows them to maintain their five to four lead at the now top Maddie of the sixth five. inning and his uh, bingo three walks hazmat now he's uh, he's just been on a stroll today he's not done anything useful for the team at all other than get on base which is useful frankly i don't care how he gets on base hey, that's strike two he swung at that that was clearly a ball he's gonna get out yeah okay right well three walks and an out for bingo hasman not exactly the uh, the greatest pick uh, uh, batting prowess you're ever going to come across bam bam wastes no time slaps that one into the crowd no she's going for, no she's obviously going for them all bam bam had enough of walking is uh, is now all about just hit it ah, and gets out okay well that's out number two uh, and that brings up uh, uh, come on bubbles Oh, no. No, no. We've had enough. Uh, Bubbles is uh, is welcome here no longer, and uh, and we are bringing in someone who can play third base, which is uh, Big Rod McGurk. Shamrock, we've had enough. Big Rod goes, all right, I'll play. Go on in. Uh, I mean, as much as I'm quite happy sitting in the dugout all day uh, just collecting my salary, there you go. Big Rod with a big hit to left field, right field, the field, uh, gets on base. 
big rod. And there we go. Uh, here's Veronica. Zero for three today, but she did bat a run in. So, you know, you've got to give her some credit for that, I suppose. I don't know how, but, you know, just, just do. Find it in your heart to give Veronica Hammock some credit. It's a nice hit. I mean, it's gone foul. Yeah, it's gone foul. Come on, Veronica. Slap it, silly. No, Veronica did not slap it. Oh, she appeals to the ref or ump or whoever he is, but he's out. Uh, yeah, leave your appeals for another time. Uh, is Lynn danger time, Mephisto? Big Rod McGurk now at third base. Lynn Mephisto. Speak her name in hushed tones. Because she'll do that to you. Right, well, that's up to centre field again. Lynn Mephisto is a belter of a player. Uh, has had a good season and is certainly making us look, you know, like slightly less competent today. And they're sobbing her. Why? Well, they seem to be subbing her for Trip Hogwash, who is a bit of a speed demon. I don't... I do not understand why they would sub their best batter. Oh, well, whatever they have done. So, uh, yeah, well, just, it is what it is. Uh, his uh, Tedium Booth. Uh, right, yeah. Well done. Good work, Jordan. Yeah. What are you going to do with this one? Nothing. Okay. You have to... The commentary killer, Jordan Booth. Uh, strike two, ball one. Feet him there a little bit off the mark. Go on, son. Uh, no, that one's a little bit off the mark as well. Now, I mean, feet him is starting to show some signs of fatigue. There you go. You're, you know, you're struck out again there, pal. Now, uh, here's Diego Biggs, the pitcher. And they're subbing him. Uh, for Bell Masters, who will come in to pinch hit. And, uh, well, you know, she's uh, she's got speed, and the Nomads are known as a speedy team. I've said it before. If I run out of other things to say, I'll say it again. And that's a hit. Bam, bam. Ah, there she goes. All right, okay, and there's the throw to third. Big Rod getting involved in the field in there ever so slightly. Yes, that's nice to see. Uh, here's Jack Onion, back to the top of the order once more. Uh, what's it going to be? No. Okay, Jack, Jackie, Jackie Boy Onions. They're going for a steal. They're likely to get away with it. Oh, and uh, and things happened there. Someone was out. I don't know exactly. Tough to say exactly what happened there, but I'm pretty sure someone got out. Two outs now uh, for the Nomads. And Dil Herfer has hit that one direct to failure. Who makes the catch? And that's the side of the tide. Uh, so, uh, Bellmasters is off, bringing on Enzo Corral, and uh, he's uh, he's gonna he's gonna try and uh, try and keep the team in the game here as we enter the top of the seventh inning. Uh, we've got another uh, Trip Hogwash is also leaving because he's not a catcher, and they're bringing on April Rubenstein, who is a catcher but is just slightly off her peak for fitness. Now remember, this is the substitution for Lynn Mephisto. Who, uh, who had been lighting us up so far today. And I, I can't explain why they would do that as failure gets himself out there. Pretty sure that was failure. Anyway, here's Big Steve. He's got a home run. That's Big Steve. And uh, that's why he is big. We don't, obviously, his name isn't Big Steve. Big Rod is, uh, is big. Uh, Steve is just big. Uh, so, uh, there you go. But anyway, ball two, strike one. Can't count. Steve Murray. Uh, so, uh, ball three. Okay, and strike two. Steve there thought that was going over as a ball. And he's now starting to swing a bit. Uh, that's okay. I mean, if they all go foul, I don't mind that in a slice. Steve Murray has hit the stuffing out of that. It's in the car park. Uh, Steve Murray gets his second home run of the day. He's looking mighty impressive. But that's what a couple of weeks uh, without having to take part in the game. I guess it rebuilds their enthusiasm for all things uh, knocking the stuffing out of the ball. Here's Tintin Hollywood. Wallop! Tintin there, he's put it long and into the crowd. It's another home run, back-to-back -back home runs. Four bulldozer power who, uh, who are once again extending their lead. Uh, it's, uh, it's not looking like an undefensible lead, an indefensible, undefendable. Uh, a defensible lead here. Uh, here's a professor. Uh, if you were going to sub him, now would be the time. But I guess uh, I guess I decided to keep him in. All right. 
Okay, I'm sure that decision won't harm me at all. Uh, he's, I mean, he's out. Yeah. No, that's, that's okay, don't sweat it. Here's, here's uh, zero for three and one walk, Cindy Vapid. And they're making a pitching change. Enzo Corral clearly not doing it for them. They're bringing in Trent Wrestles. And what Trent gets up to in his spare time is entirely up to him. Uh, but uh, here he is now. He's uh, throwing to Cindy. Ah, uh, ball one. Uh, throw to Cindy. Strike one. Okay, good stuff. Uh, ball two. Yeah. And there's ball three. Cindy Vapid now with an opportunity to get on base again. Doesn't happen very often. Full count. High drama. No, that one's got foul. Not high drama. Well, I'll tell you what. If, uh, if Cindy's job description involved wasting as many pitches from a new pitcher as possible, then she's doing very nicely indeed. That's eight pitches she's had so far. That one, however, has got up to centre field. Eight pitches and then gets on base. Cannot ask for more than that. Well, you could, but you probably wouldn't get it. I mean, to be honest, if you if you just asked her to get on base, you probably wouldn't get it. Anyway, his, uh, his bingo, three walks so far today for him, and out. As he was caught last time around. Oh, bingo. Well, that's the side retired again. Bingo, hazmat, nothing doing. Well, okay. That's the uh, seventh inning stretch. Bulldozer Power lead by three. And uh, Vera Contagion is next up to bat. Uh, the Nomads are going to start having to, to dig out a victory here from somewhere. I don't know where they usually keep their victories. But uh, who knows? Vera Contagion with a nice big hit to start with. Obviously, it's not nice. I mean, firstly, it, it, would, it would have been a home run if it wasn't foul. Uh, but we, we shouldn't describe these things as nice. We're a partisan commentary team here between me and myself. And there's Veronica with the no look over shoulder catch there. And that's nice. Uh, is Jesse Flail. He's got a home run, but nothing else so far today. So uh, what's it going to be, Jess? Mm. And that one's got a... That one's went in the, in the direction of Cindy, who seems to be demoralised and didn't make a go for that one. Normally, she would snag that straight out of the air, make a play, and justify her still being on the team. Uh, but uh, that justification is starting to get thinner all the time. That one's got to centre field. Veronica Hammock's one weakness is that she's not very quick. Uh, probably down to the tiny little feet and being 27 feet tall. Uh, but, uh, no, there's, that's another run. There. Uh, so, one out... And uh, one run so far this inning, and it is time to substitute uh, the Professor. Tulip Banter is up in the rotation for relief, and she's coming on in. Well, what's it going to be, Tulip? She's, uh, you know, she's not got the widest range of pitches available, but relieving pitches tend not to. I don't relieve pitches, not relieving pitches. I mean, you know, they might be relieved occasionally, but, uh, well, okay. That's not gone well. That was a nice hit there, uh, allowing a, uh, a, a two-base uh, movement momentum system to come into play. As uh, you know, we, we see April Rubenstein for her debut at bat today, uh, facing off against Tulip Banter. Uh, first attempt's gone foul. Uh, runners, second and third, one out, bottom of the seventh. That's all the details. Hey, boy, oh boy, does it sound authentic. Yeah, I can say all the stuff. I even occasionally know what it means. Anyway, a strike two. Tulip with the finisher. Well, it's up in the air. Steve's having a look for it. I don't know how far it's going. Uh, how it's going as far as getting them out. Nice work, Steve. Who throws the second there just as an, an additional flourish. Uh, his nameless McBeard, uh, who uh, is uh, the death to all pithy commentary. Oh, oh, you've got to feel stupid. You missed it. There he goes, the second pitch. That one's gone foul, which leaves the tulip banter up the gut zinger. No, 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 that one's gone foul as well, which means that we're now going to do the uh, off-the-cuff slider. And that's a strikeout there. Idiot boy gets to sit down once again. The lead now, two runs as we enter the eighth and penultimate inning. And uh, here's Bam Bam. She's not had a good day. No, that's okay. She's, uh, you know, she's done a bit, but you know, it's not what we've come to expect. The, the the high times of Bam Bam Puckai are far behind us now. And uh, you have to wonder whether whether she can guarantee herself a place on the team as, uh, as we move forward uh, through time. 
All right, okay, good. That worked. Bam, bam, there. Hit in center field, gets on the base. Good. All right. Nagging me players appears to get results. Here's Big Rod. He's batting 600 this season, but he hasn't batted very often. And that's that's something we should probably seek to rectify as he uh, as he manages to slap that one uh, to a tricky position and gets himself on base for his uh, for his trouble. Here's Veronica, 0 for 4. And uh, apparently, I'm I'm thinking of subbing her. And there's only one person for whom Veronica can be subbed, and that's the myth, the man, the legend, the hairpiece, Zoltan. Zoltan, who strikes at something that was so far outside the strike zone. He's, I mean, it's got its own area code. Wallop! No! Oh dear! Out one, out two. A double play there. Now, we have got a runner on third. Thanks, Zoltan. Good of you to show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to have you back on the team. Uh, it's failure. Opportunity to extend the lead. Uh, but there are two outs. Failure going for the first pitch. Bolt. Yeah, he's uh, not easily intimidated. Uh, he's, he shouldn't have gone for that, though. That one is in danger. And it's out. So we tired. Well, this is a close one. Uh, Bulldozer are power clinging to lead at the moment. But uh, they, they have to cling on to it for a bit longer. Here is Trent wrestling with his bat. And they're letting him do so. Interesting. That one's not gone very far. And that's a run out to first. Okay, one out. There's Jack Onion. And uh, only a two-run deficit. Chilip in the zone. Throws. What? Oh, it's good, but it's fat. Okay, that's fine. Good, but it's fine. fine. Strike one now. There you go. Crowd bringing noise. Jack Onion. Uh, no, Cindy can't be bothered to jump for it. Uh, that one goes out as far as failure. He throws it back. And uh, that's, a, that's a base hit. Here's Pickles Dillhofer. Uh, who is, uh, he's got three singles so far today. Over 50% of the runs uh, for the Nomads has come from Pickles. Anyways, hit that one to Zoltan. No, not Zoltan. Big Rod. Who, uh, who manages to run out the uh, the run second? Uh, Pickles there getting onto uh, onto first base. Is Vera completely awful contagion? Who's brilliant? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I've never seen a greater natural batter uh, in in any baseball environment. There you go, that'll do it. Uh, Zoltan there with a flipping laziest throw I've ever seen in my life. Uh, but that's the side retired. I mean, what's the matter with you, Zoltan? Uh, no, it wasn't Zoltan. It's Big Rod. Oh, yeah, big rod. Yeah. Because I'm a hitter. I'm not a fielder. Because he's from the West Country in an accent done very poorly. Anyway, Steve Murray. Lovely hit from Steve. And he's going to make two from that one. He could go for three. But frankly, Steve takes a long time to get anywhere and relies on his ability to wang it. Uh, his Tintin Hollywood, who has uh, a home run so far today. He's, he's played quite well. Hang on. You've done it to yourself again, haven't you? Yeah, I have. There you go. Out number one there, but we have got a runner now on third. Is Tulip. Uh, are we keeping her in? No, we're subbing her out. Uh, Tulip is going to get subbed for... Jemima... No. Bernard Dunk. Uh, yeah. Jemima Hurts. Yeah, okay. All right, we're going with Jemima. Um, who, uh, yeah, she's there with her blue sleeve going on, which is, I mean, it's not regulation. Anyway, Jemima, nice hit. Gets on base, and that's going to be a run. Excellent work. Jemima Hurts there coming in and, uh, and getting a run for a trouble. Uh, here is Cindy Vapid. Has had a hit now. Uh, still not, still not a great performance from Cindy. And there's, there's nothing doing as far as good performances there. And that's a double play. And the side's retired. Well, going into what could well be uh, the final uh, countdown. Uh, yes, well, it's all go. Uh, we've brought on the Conservative to try and wrap things up for us here. A three-run lead. And, uh, you know, Bulldogs Pad just need to hold their nerve and take this one home in a carrier bag. That one's got out to Zoltan, who's got the ball. Throws to first. 
or not. Throws to second. Okay, all right. That won't come back to haunt us, I'm sure. Here's Kale Deakness. He's uh, back in 500 today. He's got a double a single. He's uh, possibly got a run there. I didn't see in time. And a conservative. Ball one. No, no, outside the zone. So far, no problems. Jeff Conservative. Wallop! Oh, that one's gone. Yep. Yeah, that one's history. Well, that's, a, that's narrowed the gap to just one run. Oh, dearie me. Not many outs. Any? Any outs? No. No outs. And uh, the Nomads now, one run from victory. Uh, big pressure on Jeff Conservative to perform. That one's gone a long way as well. And that's tied it up. Jeff Conservative getting absolutely rinsed by the, uh, by the batting staff here. And the Nomads are back in it. Well, they're not just back in it, they're tied uh, with an inning to spare. One run required. And uh, this is Bulldozer Power now at their finest, having to, uh, having to defend. We're bad at defending. Bulldozer Power now need to dig deep to come up with some kind of defensive plan. That's not good. That's kind of... Bingo Hazmat running in completely the wrong direction is going to give up at least two bases here. And they're going for three. And they have it. Well, disaster. Uh, nameless Doofus is uh, is up to bat, and they have uh, just one base short of victory. This is a disaster. Jeff Conservative, so reliable. Then us, that'll do it, unless it's caught, which it is. But they're making the run for home. Here it goes, and that's it. Job done. Uh, four power there. They lose the game. Lost it. No. Oh. Went into the final inning there with a three-run lead and uh, just uh, threw the whole thing away. Threw a series of catastrophically poor decisions and uh, lucky rolls of dice and other things like that. Well, there you go. Uh, go Jeff Conservative there rightly taking the loss, having given up four runs in one inning. Unheard of for Jeff. He is usually so reliable. Uh, the Professor had a very reasonable game. You know, three strikeouts, that's all good. Uh, but ultimately couldn't get it done. Uh, Tulip did all right. Steve Murray, with his two home runs, does get uh, credit for being uh, the big dog of the day. And that's all super. But uh, let's put this one behind us as quickly as possible. Well, we've got 11 games to simulate, and they ain't going to simulate themselves. So let's go. Uh, it's the uh, Duck Force against the Ocelots. Ocelots with a lead going into the final. Lead. And there we go. Ocelots take the win. The Pirates now playing Colonel School. Uh, Colonel School are uh, stomping all over the Pink Beards. Uh, here are the Golden Eagles against the Steganauts, and they, they win. They did. Um, right, seven and nine is stuffing the sloths who managed some kind of a comeback, but not a big one. Uh, is the bloody jesters against the ocelots? Ocelots there taking that win as well. Uh, two goes to the ocelots there. The kings against uh, failure grad, and that's a failure grad victory. Cheerio Inc. against Bumson Hospital. Cheerio Inc. making that look easy. Uh, here is uh, Failure Wood Hills against the pirates. Pirates getting a win. Uh, Nomads now taking on the sloths. Sloths managed to come from behind and score big. Uh, well, four runs ish. Uh, that's the Colonel School there taking out the bloody jesters. Is uh, Duck Force once again uh, playing Failure Grad and Duck Force with a win. Now uh, that wraps up all of the wrapping up that needs wrapping up there. And uh, in the tactical division, uh, Cheerio Inc. 15 and 2. Uh, Bulldozer Power back on 9 and 7. Well, there's only a game or so to play, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how that. that uh, swerves. Uh, meanwhile, in smoothing, it's uh, Failure Grad leading the way ahead of Duck Force. Colonel School still just about in the run uh, of possible playoff contenders. Over in uh, Tree Gun, the Hong Kong Kings are tied with the Bloody Jesters, and the Ocelots and Failure Wood are only one game back. That one could go anyway. Whereas in the Bombastic, uh, the Nomads capitalise on their victory today by pushing out to a 12-5 and five record ahead of the Tide Sloths Golden Eagles combo, who are both on 10 wins. So our next game brings us the grudge match of the season of grudge matches, where Cheerio Inc. will be our opponent, game 17 of 18 in the regular season. A win here 
Well, it helps our chances in uh, gathering a playoff position, but uh, but taking the championship now just isn't possible. And we'll be uh, we'll be looking to take out Lance Splendid and the boys and girls of Cheerio Inc. in the next game. I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching today. The season hots up. I'll catch up with you very soon. There, there, there wasn't anything else to say there. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks very much for watching. Cheerio. Well, that one's a bit of a disappointment, I'll be honest. Uh, leading the entire game for, for three runs. Oh, don't, well, I mean, we kept, kept getting cut back to two. But leading the entire game only to throw it in the last last inning is... is just not on but uh, but as I so uh, adeptly put it a moment ago uh, series of catastrophic errors and uh, and you know uh, lots of small things small things that mounted up into being a big problem and uh, and we lost the game as a result of that well that's okay we've still got time to uh, to turn it around and we're still very much in contention for a wild card spot in the playoff run Maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. Anyway, look, you know, ah, you know, this is all adding up for a great deal of, of tension-infused sports action, uh, which is the kind of, kind of sports action you desperately want to, uh, to encounter as often as possible. And uh, I hope to see you for the rest of it. Right, I'm going to go now and, and, uh, and put Zoltan back on the bench. And, yeah.